Yo, you need to download the DraftKings Casino app now and use code NOCHASER5. New players get an instant deposit match up to $100 in casino credits when you deposit $5 or more. That's code NOCHASER5 only on DraftKings Casino. The crown is yours, baby. If you got a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. 21 plus, physically present in Connecticut, Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, West Virginia only. Void in Ontario. Eligibility and other restrictions apply. One per new customer. Must opt in and make minimum $5 deposit within seven days, 168 hours, or register a new account. Max match $100 in casino credits, which require one-time playthrough within seven days, 168 hours. See terms at casino.draftkings.com slash new player offer 2024. Yo, I know No Chaser got some smoking ass listeners, and guess what? I got a special treat for you guys, okay? Don't you hate that harsh, throat-burning smoke? Well, guess what? All you gotta do is chill. Freeze Pipe makes a unique line of freezable pipes, bubblers, and bongs that are 80% colder than using ice cubes to chill the smoke, all right? The magic is freezable glycerin chambers that come on every piece. Pop the chamber in the freezer for one hour, and as smoke passes through, it's instantly chilled by over 300 degrees, all right? Now, check this out. I got a special treat for y'all. Ditch harsh smoke forever by visiting thefreezepipe.com and use code CHASER for 10% off your order. That's thefreezepipe.com and use code CHASER for 10% off. Shop today for free shipping and smoke like royalty without paying a king's ransom. Who needs pants? I don't like pants. When you got a gobbler sitting next to you. <laughs> yeah. What's a gobbler? (laughs) (laughs) I learned something new today. I reach over and eat her snacks. (laughs) What you you thought? Nasty. You got got snacks in your pocket. (laughs) Mouthful of hair. (laughs) (laughs) Um. Okay. Here we go. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. I want to know your name, man. I want to know if you got a man. I want to know. I want to know everything. I want to know your number, man. If I can come over in. I want to know you. I want to know what you're all about. I want to know. I want to know what makes you laugh. I want to know about your past. I want to know how you move. I want to know so I can move too. I want to know. But you're telling me I'm just a friend. Telling me I'm just a friend. Oh, baby, you. Oh, baby, you. Got what I need. Got what I need. You say I'm just a friend. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the No Shades of Podcast. I'm Tim Chow the Ronzo. I'm Ricky Schutz. And I'm Nikki Blades. What's up, y'all? We're going to take a swig of this sake. You know why? Why? Guess why, Nikki Blades? Why? Hold on a second. I'm going to take my swig. Just just go ahead. Mm-hmm. That's good too. Why? Because this episode is pretty much the five year anniversary of the No Chaser podcast. Oh my God. We all did a bit. Wow. How's about that? How's about it? Five years, yes. And what a blessing we're all here to celebrate. We're all in this together. together. And guess what? 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 Guess what? 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 Because it's a special occasion. Um, as you know, we've already dropped this No Chaser League t-shirt with Yay! all of us on here with our, our superpowers. Our first merch. That's right. We got me, Super Me, with the Super Chili uh, Dick Fire Power. Uh-huh. We got Rick with the Ice Cold Dick Power. Because it's Come together. And we got Nikki Blaze with her super whoa, 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 titty power. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> God, I still remember when we were making this. They're like, we're going to make your boobs. So get you one at goodybrand.com. And not only that, to commemorate, we got these bow, no chaser snapbacks. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, they fit great, by the way. Goodybrand.com. And, um... And guess what, guys? <laughs> For my smokers out there, uh, the podcast is also sponsored by Freeze Pipe. They got these very sexy, very cool bongs. If y'all get down like that, we got a no chaser discount for y'all. Link in the description. Ooh. Check it out. Look how sexy that is. Shiny. Use it. That is nice. Just that is nice. Smoke your substances or 
put it in your pussy or asshole. I don't, don't, or don't. You can, I mean, you can, you can. <laughs> don't tell him don't when you can. Okay. Trust me. Well, read the disclaimer on the box. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it says don't put it in your holes. Probably. <laughs> Look how cool it is, though. All right? Um, I, I saw, just, really? I saw. Uh, Seriously, though, do not put it in the bottom. Don't, don't, please don't. No, yeah, yeah, yeah no, no. I, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a meme earlier. <laughs> It was this dude. He was like on the floor and his his junk was glowing. Oh. Mm-hmm. And it was like, when I put the glow stick in my pee hole and then break it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> break it yeah. I said that to someone last night. Yeah. But dope. So we got a discount for them? Um cool. we sh- we should for the for the for the bongs. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. There there should be a discount code in the description below. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Well then I want a discount too. Oh. That shirt is now $25. Whoa! Whoa. Let's make the hat $25 too. Okay. The, the hat is $25? Yeah. The shirt is $25? You know what? The shirt you had on the last episode? The no, I'm saying shirt? Yeah. Whoa, I didn't even promote that shit. Yet. Let, let's let's yeah, drop yeah, that. Let's that. And let's make that $25 too. Oh! Five years, $25, because we can't make it $5 for no, y'all. No, no, we can't do that. These shirts say, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> because... Uh, I'm trying to say that less. I, this was that was my resolution like three years in a row. I'm gonna say no. I'm saying less. Uh-huh. It failed. Failed. Didn't work. No, I'm saying goodybrand.com. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Available now. These are still available. Uh, they not twenty five dollars. No, but they're not. These are. I, I, I take the price down a little bit. Okay. Just go, go to goodybrand.com right now. We got some stuff. Twenty five dollars. Not not twenty five dollars. <laughs> bang bang. <laughs> Wow. Don Don DeMarco. Yeah. Five years. In uh-huh. the five years, Tim had two kids. And what have we done? Oh. Um, I ain't done shit. Man. Yeah, I got no babies. No babies. <laughs> hey, and you know what? You, you know what I also have, though? You know what I also have? What? Gray motherfucking hair as a result of these two babies. Yeah. Me Not too. because I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> You're, like, blaming the children. Because of the babies. Um, um But... Uh, I, uh, you know, I'm sleeping less, but it's been great. Aww. It's been great. Veda just turned three. <laughs> wow. How was that? How does it make you feel? It's crazy, Nikki Blades, mm-hmm. because two to three is such a drastic change, uh, especially, well, okay, well, I, I, I'll put it to you like this. Also, Veda's a genius, high key, and you know, a lot of people say that about their children's, okay. but we were, um... I was dropping Veda off at daycare the other day, right? And her teacher was like, oh, I see we have a birthday coming up. I'm like, yeah, that's right, Veda. How old you about to be, baby? She was like three. And the teacher was like shook. She looked at us. She was like, she's still two? <laughs> I was like, yeah. And I was like, she's a genius, right? Kind of joking. She was like, well, she's very advanced. And she turned to her new assistant who was like hadn't met Veda yet. She was like, speak so clearly potty trained will <laughs> debate with you uh <laughs> not even three yet and i was like damn okay <laughs> because you don't know when you just got a kid you know what i'm saying yeah. that's so funny you guys walk out she's like and that's how you keep getting the money right. girl <laughs> <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> the, they the fall next. for it every time <laughs> <laughs> like make sure you say that to every single, every single one when okay. they say how old they are go mm. oh my god well but what but here's the thing though it's like He's only eight <laughs> He's potty trained. He speaks so well and no, no. even debate. No, she has to tweak it. She's like, not even three. Uses diapers. <laughs> Can say goo goo and gaga. <laughs> Drools <laughs> only six hours a day. <laughs> this kid is not a follower. I tell you that. I tell you that. So unique. <laughs> so <laughs> unique. Dances to the own of their the, the tune of their own weird song. I tell you. You uh, love it. Ooh, but, creative uh, genius. Yeah, we we began to realize that because you know we would kind of see other kids that were like, oh yeah, they're dumb. <laughs> and you know, I said, <laughs> and I and I had to realize that oh, it's, it's not that other kids, other people's kids are dumb. Mine is smart. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I kind of look at, I mean, I look at life in that way. I, I've said this before, but like, I don't know if I've said this to you around you, Nikki Blaze, but you know, you know how you get really irritated at stupid comments online, mm-hmm. and you get to, you get frustrated, like God, why is everybody so dumb? And it it will weigh on you because you're like, yeah. God, how are people so stupid, yes. right? I had the realization a long time ago, and this has saved me a lot of stress. It's not that people are dumb. It's not that the world is dumb. Mm-hmm. It's that we are better. We are smarter and better. 
<laughs> and we can't be mad at dumb people oh. for living as dummies. They can't help that. Okay. So the best way to approach it is to be like, I feel bad for you mm. that you're not on my level. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And that will keep you from getting mad. It will, if anything, it fills you with um, <coughs> pity. Yeah. And then I took it a step further. Okay. Because I'm like, oh, damn, he's onto something here. Mm-hmm. But also, they are dumb. <laughs> and, I, and I am mad at them for being dumb. <laughs> two, two truths can exist at the same time. <laughs> I'm just, better. Just kidding, dumb people. I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm smart and they're dumb. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, man. Uh, but yeah, beta, oh. Beta's changed so much in the past year. It's, it's, a, it's a fucking trip. It's, it's yeah. crazy. Uh, she like, you know, I can actually really like talk to her now. And um, it's, it's wild, man. It's a lot. It's super rewarding. It's 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 cool. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I I enjoy it. Um, and the fact that she'll probably be in school, like school, school start school in September. And uh, so even now, when I'm like, you know, they'll, they'll like they'll say, all right, I don't don't like don't baby him too much, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. I'm like, man, nah, she about to be gone every day in a few months. I'm about to baby the shit out of <laughs> here, man. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so whatever she wants, she wants to get picked up all the time. Fuck it, yeah, let's go. <laughs> My niece is now, I think she's 10. So my niece is 10, and that is the one that she runs up to me every time she sees me. She's super loving, very, very cuddly, but she's a tall kid. My niece and I are almost the same height. She wears Mm. all my clothes. So I try to treat her as much like a baby as possible and Mm. just really love on her. Well, recently, she kind of been, you know, a little getting into that preteen kind of vibe. Every once in a while, she'll see me and then kind of like— Hey, and then go away. Mm. Well, my sister's, you know, my other niece, which is my um, sister's fiance's daughter, Mm. she's older. So I've been kind of low-key kicking it with her a little bit more, talking about clothes and things like that. And I didn't realize that my niece was picking up on it. Mm. So I had gone from babying my niece no matter what. And that was like my number one priority to kind of be like, oh, I'm going to give her some space. And I thought that she just wanted it. And I was hanging out with my other niece. Mm. And my sister told me the other day, and I almost cry. <laughs> she was why like, Auntie she, Nikki. she said, why isn't Auntie Nikki hanging out with me like she used to? And I was like, wait, what? And I had no idea because, you know, these kids, sometimes you're thinking that, oh, they just getting too cool. Yeah, she yeah. got her head. She got her friends. She's talking about boys. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't mm. know what to do. Mm. And then the older one, we were just, it was just easy to talk to. Mm-hmm. And so when my sister told me that, I was like, damn, I knew I always wanted to keep treating Mia, my niece, like that way mm-hmm. and to baby her. And when I tried to like let her be a little bit older and give her her space, she yeah. was like, my auntie don't love me. <laughs> I swear. I was like, oh my God, no, that's what I never wanted to feel Mm -hmm. now do you feel like one day beta and or your son is going to be like dad don't baby me no more are you worried about that well veda already kind of does that (laughs) really (laughs) yeah because now that she knows she can do shit she'll be like or should we go we go downstairs she's like don't hold me i can do it myself she's like Mm -hmm. i'm bigger i'll do it myself right Mm -hmm. or she'll be like you know uh she'll be like (laughs) she knows she's taller and she can reach shit Shit, she couldn't reach. <laughs> Dad, move out of my nope. way. <laughs> She'll do this, right? She'll literally, I'll be like, oh, baby, let me get that for you. And she goes, no, I'm a big girl. I can reach it. Look, I can touch it now. I can touch it now above the counter. So she's already, I, that's in her. You feel yeah. me? To be like, no, I'm good. I'm good. Let me do it. Let me do it. And then she like, you know, fucking eat shit. But like, it's like, you got to let them do it, right? Right. But I tell you this though, in terms of getting a little attitude, <coughs> that's starting already too. Uh-huh. Veda did some shit. I didn't tell you about this dog. I forgot. <laughs> she did some shit the other day. I was like, yo, she was talking to Chia and um, Chia was trying to tell her to do something. And Veda, Veda was like, you know, Chia was trying to tell her to wash her hands or shit, some shit. She was like, no. <gasps> and just stared at her. What? I want to. Did she square up with your wife? And just was standing on a chair staring at Chia. Ugh. And Chia was trying to look like, look back at her, but then Chia couldn't help but like chuckle. Yeah. And I'm like, you just lost. <laughs> Damn. Stared at her. And Vader was still like in her face, like, Ugh. and I was like, all right, baby. You're not doing that, all right? Yeah, it's like with the dogs. You got to stare at them until the dog looks away. If the dog looks away first, then you win. But if you look away first, you lose. <gasps> yeah, bro. She's squared up on Chia. Ooh. Got to push her. <laughs> Something, dog. I'm terrified of my mom. My mom made that real clear very early on in life. I do not square up with my mother. Yeah. I will not do that ever to my mom. I yeah. think I did it once and got the knocked out of me. <laughs> and I would never do it again. But my sister... Is fearless. Yeah. My sister will tell my mom, what you going to do? Hit me? Wow. And my mom is like, oh, my God. And then she's just so thrown off by it yeah. that she can't. 
I'm just like, I got why why did I get the abuse? I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure you could take her now, dude. <laughs> no, 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 no. I could, I'm pretty sure I could have taken my mom back then. Yeah, but, but they, they they get that mental edge mom, and make you oh, second yeah. guess yourself. I for sure, I for sure wasn't. But it was crazy because my sister had that like no fear, but they're super close. My mm. sister and my mom were way closer than we were. I treated mm. mom like that was mom. Mm. So there was that respect in that space, right? Like I did as I was told. I never really threatened her authority or tried to test it at all. Mm. But my sister would always, always do that. And I would be in the background going, oh, she's going to get smacked. And my mom never did it. <laughs> so I wonder how she is going to navigate this space with, I mean, you don't have to not saying put your hands on your baby, but there's always a moment where it's like the mom established dominance. But I wonder how that balance is going to come. Like yeah. in what way? Nah, she is definitely the one to, uh, to yell before me, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? She she don't take no shit. I be I be taking shit, bro. I, feel, <laughs> I need uh, I, I need to I need to boss up a bit on my on my daughter. But wait, but when your son, how much you want to bet Tim's gonna have all the bass in his voice? Oh, I'm already like <laughs> you don't have all the bass in your voice. Like, let alone what if he's taller than you? What if your son is taller than he you? He probably will be because he's already fucking big as shit, man. He's so heavy already. <laughs> he's fucking big, dog. Um, and like. I, I do like baby him a little less when you know when Vader was that age. Uh, I, I babied Vader. I'm, I'm more like, "Are oh, you good? You good, man? You good? You got this, bro. Mm -hmm. You got this." You know what I'm saying? Um, but um, I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see. I, I feel like you know, and everyone says this that there's like a stage in every son's. I don't know what the daughter. I guess you just told us, but like every son, I feel kind of has that one day, that one story where you kind of like push back, like just kind of challenge your dad's authority yeah. a bit. Like everyone has that one moment where your, your dad's like. Oh, I guess he's not my little boy anymore. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I, I got to beat his ass. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to have our, to punch you. Our boy Kevin had this story from high school. You remember the story we told his mom he was a grown ass man? Mm. <laughs> Kev had this story where he told his mom, he's like 15 or 13, some shit like that. He's like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm a grown ass man, oh, right? Yeah. His mom punched him in the chest. Oh. <laughs> He started crying. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Kel's mom's no joke, man. I love she a would no just, joke mama. She, she just punch us just because. <laughs> she just walked by. Shut up, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the fuck's wrong with your mom, man? <laughs> your mom. <laughs> what y'all doing? <laughs> like, uh, you can't, you can't hit her back. You can't, right, you can't, you can't do anything about it. And she was heavy handed. Like, God, damn, damn, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, Uncle Rick, I got a question. Now, as an auntie, mm -hmm. I hate to say this, but I do have my favorites. Mm -hmm. I ha I do have one baby that I love more than the other. I try my best to equally spread out my love, but it is very true. <laughs> my babies already know. Yeah. But Uncle Rick, how are you going to navigate the space? <laughs> do you think that you're going to like one baby more than the other? I don't I don't think so. Because like, I, I have two, like... Blood nephews, mm -hmm. and there's no like favoritism between them. Good for them. But they're like one's sixteen and one is seven. I oh, think? that's a Six, big that's you know a big age difference. But yeah, I never. So I don't think I was doing that. Um, mm -hmm. between these two, <laughs> I like you. I yeah. like Vader. I don't. It's not like a uh, <laughs> yeah. Q crawling towards me again. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they're both fun. Um. Like both of Eric's babies. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yo, you already know DraftKings Casino is bringing you only the best classics like blackjack, roulette, and slots. Yo, where the slots at? Plus exclusive games you won't find anywhere else, okay? Yeah, boy loves a little bit of roulette. Game of chance. I don't know what's going to happen. I like to live my life dangerously, you know? Download the DraftKings Casino app now and use code NOCHASER5. New players get an instant deposit match up to $100 in casino credits when you deposit $5 or more. That's code NOCHASER5 only on DraftKings Casino. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. 21 plus. Physically present in Connecticut, Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, West Virginia only. Void in Ontario. Eligibility and other restrictions apply. One per new customer must opt in and make minimum $5 deposit within seven days, 168 hours, or registering new account. Max match $100 in casino credits, which require one-time playthrough within seven days, 168 hours. See terms at casino.draftkings.com slash new player offer 2024. <sighs> who else? Who else got children? Uh, Chris' daughter, I've only met her once. Mm -hmm. 
But she was cool. Okay. Uh, yeah. some, cause not. I like Chloe and yeah. I have met the twins. Mm. Uh, Gabby. Yeah, I like all the babies. See, that's <laughs> I was being real honest with my friend one day. And I feel like you gotta do that sometimes because, <laughs> you know, I don't like everybody's kids. Mm. I, I really don't. Not all kids are created equal, just like their parents. Mm -hmm. And this normally, you know, they're they're not. There's some parenting styles that I don't agree with, so I don't even know how to be around the children. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed that with some of my, with my family and how they parent their kids. And I'm like, oh, I like this one because I know how to act around them, what they can and can't do. And then there's, there's one baby that is, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> like, I really don't. And I feel so bad because I'm just like, you're, you're too much to where I don't want to be around you. <laughs> how old? <laughs> old enough. Oh, God. Old enough to, that talks a lot. Ah. A lot. That, that's where we're going to find out. Okay. <laughs> when, when they're, Seven. Yeah, yeah. So mind you, like my yeah. my babies that I'm around are. Yeah, my babies are old enough to have attitude to where they say some stuff sometimes, and I'm like, wow. Mm. What I was thinking in my head, and what I what I want to say out of my mouth, you got to filter yeah. because some of these kids just say some stuff, and I'm like, oh my god, that's your mom. <laughs> you yeah. act like your mom. Yeah, but also it's kind of different with uncle. Okay. Like. There's a built-in fear there. Oh, okay. Even the like my older, he's taller than me now, mm -hmm. but he still knows. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's <laughs> you I was, know right. Yeah, right. So, they don't push. Yeah. Speaking of fear, I was feeling a little bad today because mind you, right? Like I said, I be going light, especially with Vader, right? I kind of let her get away with some shit. Chia, Chia got Chia runs that shit with a with a strong hand. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and so this morning, Vader took a little pee pee. I wiped her butt, whatever, whatever. And so she's like, I don't want to wash my hands, right? Because we trying to make sure she you wash your hands every time, every time you pee. Yes. But in my head, I'm like, yeah, she didn't touch nothing. Like, <laughs> I got to wash your hands. That's cool. Whatever. Let's go play, right? Beta, Chia was like, Beta, wash your hands. Wash your hands, right? So Beta runs runs to me, right? We go into the, she, we go into the room because I was like, all right, we're going to wash our hands in my bathroom, whatever. But she was like, she's like, I don't want to wash my hands. I don't want to wash my hands. I'm like, got to. I'm like, <laughs> All right, let's get in the bed, man. It's okay. we're, so, we're chilling. We're chilling, cuddling and shit, right? We're just cuddling. She's like, I don't watch my... And she's like, let's hide from mommy. Let's hide from mommy. Oh, my God. She puts the blanket over us. We're chilling. I'm like, ah, uh, I feel bad. <laughs> you suck, You got to make her wash her hands. <laughs> I know, I know. But I'm like, in my head, I'm like, She's right, though. She didn't touch anything. No, it's not, that's not, not what it's that. for. And then it's, and then it's you two, because I'm telling you this as a daddy's girl. <laughs> Me and my mom, it was, no matter what, it goes straight to dad. And yeah. dad was going to make sure that I could do whatever I wanted. But that <laughs> caused a big rift between my mom and I because she mm. was like, you little shit. <laughs> you always go to your dad when I tell you something. But then when you need something and you know your dad's going to say no, you want to try and play with me? Right, right. No. So, ooh, you just got to, you got to. I know, I know, I know. Even the I smallest know. things. I know. You're right, you're right. I know. Because what's going to happen one day, Veda's going to be that girl. That's like, well, I didn't touch anything. And she's leaving and everybody's looking like, wow, Veda didn't wash her hands. And she's Man. like, my dad told me if I don't touch nothing, then I don't got to wash my hands. And she's, then She's going to be the one not wiping. Your pee-pee fingers. So that she doesn't have to wash her hands. Yeah, See? True. You got to instill this now before she's the one leaving the bathroom and all the girls are going, oh my God, Veda did not wash her hands. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah, she's like her dad. Oh my gross. God, so gross. Oh no, I was, <laughs> even if I don't wash my They're hands. They're going to think you're gross, though. I, 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 well, <laughs> look. They're going to be like, we saw the episode. <laughs> Even if I, got, if I got a company over and I don't feel like washing my hands, I'll run the sink for a few seconds. <laughs> splash. <laughs> don't even splash. Just let that shit run. And then I do this. All right, y'all, what you want to eat? Okay. What you want to eat? I'm cooking it. <laughs> y'all want sandwiches? <laughs> Just all in there. Spaghetti, hand spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, I want a pickle. Y'all want a pickle with your sandwich? <laughs> oh hand spaghetti. <laughs> There are some bathrooms that have the sinks in them. And I always wonder if I wash my hand in this bathroom yeah. and they see me walk out yeah. and not touch the main sink, oh, are they going to yeah. know that I wash I my hand? I always go to the main I sink. I always go to the main sink. <laughs> Fear. Yeah, I, um, I, uh, it's, it's terrible when you see, you know someone just shitted and you <laughs> see them walk right past the sink. Yeah. Like, yes. I'd be wanting to scream, Yeah, man. <laughs> so gross. I started doing a thing on Twitter whenever I saw someone not wash their hands, I would tweet, 
Anybody in Glendale right now, uh, 40 something year old white dude, orange shirt, just peed, did not wash hands, alert, alert, do not handshake, do not shake hands with this person. And it kind of became a little thing. Every time someone saw that, they would tweet it at me, I would retweet it, alert, alert, <laughs> motherfucking in, in, in Monrovia, uh, 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 Asian dude in a baby blue Fubu jersey, did not wash hands, got the shit in. So real specific, <laughs> with a neck tattoo. Yeah, you gotta be specific, you know? <laughs> nah, nah, you right, you right, you right. You, you right. gotta. Damn. Because right. I, I don't want her to uh, especially be like, you know, let me go to daddy. Like, not oh, disobey mom and go to daddy. Okay. Like, I don't want that. Your you know? two, almost three-year-old is ready to square up with her mom now. <laughs> you gotta you gotta have a united front with That's this because she's already testing the waters. This is facts. You know, Ooh. well, you know, she's an Aquarius. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know I don't know anything about Me neither. <laughs> hey, Aquarii in the comments, uh, let, let us know. What what do y'all do? What are your characteristics? What do I have to look for? I'll beat the shit out of my mom. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 son. I don't ever wash hands. I'll beat yeah. the shit out of my mom. I remember I beat my mama with my unwashed hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Bitch got pink eye and black eye. <laughs> black, a, pink eye. I'm a, pop. I'm a girl. <laughs> <laughs> said, what? I'm a girl. I'm a girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let me let me not start building bad habits. Right yeah, now. you guys are totally right, man. You know, it's just you know, it's just tough, man. It's just he hard. just want to win, though. That's I the know. thing. He, he wants to Beta. win, parent of this. Yes, he wants Beta to love him more. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, not gonna lie, she's been pretty obsessed with dad lately. It's been pretty sweet. <laughs> yep, say it's been pretty cool, man. I. I, I yelled at my dad the other day. Oh, and you feel bad about it, huh? I still feel bad. Mm -hmm. But he deserved it. Oh, all right. Well, I don't want to go into the full details, but let me tell you, <laughs> there's a day when you're when the daddy's girl mm -hmm. and some of the currents get moved and you're like, wow, dad is a man. <laughs> he is merely just a man. <laughs> and he's going to disappoint you at one point <laughs> in your life. Like all men do. Like all men do. <laughs> but dad, yeah, and I'm not going to lie, I still feel terrible. I feel terrible about it. You always feel bad about yelling at your parents, even when yes. they deserve it. You, know, you think back like, oh, I could have said this differently, but God damn it, they deserved it. Right. Yeah. Just well, I've never yelled at my parents. <laughs> Sent really long, scathing text messages, uh -huh. but there was no yelling, so I don't feel bad about that. You know what you did. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was one, you know, like I, I started off real calm, mm. and then all of a sudden I was like, I felt betrayed mm. and it was the craziest feeling like I've gotten you know I've like argued with my boyfriends or whatever and that's never I never really felt bad about that but my dad I told my dad he disappointed me and I still ain't been able to sleep right oh, mm. wow oh, I know my sister though was like hey I've been sleeping great <laughs> <laughs> I, called, I called her today to be like How are you doing all right she's like I've been sleeping like a baby she said I said what I needed to say and I was like good for you well I'll tell you what's fucked up man you talking about sending scathing messages to your parents Parents, his was fucked up. When you feel bad, when you had sent a nice text message to your parents, but it's because they don't speak English like that, <laughs> they they take it as disrespect. <laughs> I said something to my mom, dog. She was like, she was asking me for some favor, right? Sending me little fucking cute puppy emojis and shit. She always sends that shit when she wants a favor, mm -hmm. and I'm like. And I was, I forget sometimes that there's a low key language barrier, especially through yeah. the text, right? She, I was like, I was like, what do you need? She thought I was like, she thought I was like, what do you, she thought it was on some uh, like, what, what yeah. you want, you yeah. know what I'm saying? She hit me with a dot, dot, dot <gasps> on some like, oh. And I'm like, no, now I gotta try and in broken tie explain yeah. it was all bad, man. It was like, and I'm like, why do I, why are you making me feel bad about yeah. trying to do stuff for you? Yeah, I, I need to know what you need so I can get it. Uh, I'm trying to give it to you. Yeah. It's a struggle, man. Don't don't have no Asian moms. Man. Yeah, I was just about to say, don't have parents. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what my dad's excuse is. English is our first language, but he types like it's not. <laughs> He's <funny>. a man. <laughs> Men don't know how to text. <laughs> He's hitting me with the Cam Noon text. I'm no, like, but Dad, what is this? Hey, please, you're a bad texter too. What you I'm mean? I'm a horrible texter. So imagine two bad texters. Go, my dad is texting me in pigeon and I'm reading it in regular English. And I'm just like, are you just misspelling and everything? And replying with one word. Right. I know. No, it'd, be, it'd be days I'm, where I'm, yeah, for real. But I know, I know that Tim hates when you don't acknowledge his jokes or you don't like LOL at some of his stuff. And I'll get a voice memo. Like, are you not understanding what I'm telling you? Yeah. Right well, not only that, but I feel like we talked about this, but not only like, 
the jokes, but also it's like, I'd be like, Nikki Blades, good morning. G, 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 exclamation point. She'd be like, hey. I'm like, are you? Stop. <laughs> Let me send this the voice note. Hey, are you good? Because it's like, what's yeah, why? Wow. And, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the thing about it is, she'll send mad dry ass texts, and I'm like, let me wait for a voice note before I get irritated. And then the voice note's fine. It's yeah. chipper. It's great. I'm like, yeah. God. I, I was messaging this guy. And we had not FaceTimed or got on the phone yet. And he was like, I want to FaceTime you. I want to talk to you. And I was just like, yeah, yeah, okay. So we get on FaceTime and we're like laughing. It's funny. He's like, oh my God, you have a personality. Because <laughs> you text like you need therapy. Like you are miserable. Everything is dry. I was like, oh, I'm just not really good at texting. He's like, well, you need to stop. Pick up the phone. <laughs> to get, get good at it. Get better. It's <laughs> yeah. like, okay, my bad. Ah, <sighs> Nikki Blades. I know. I'm 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 a dry texter. And I don't use emojis very well. I got like three. That's about it. I feel like if you're not gonna be expressive with your punctuation, <laughs> the least you can do, there's a plethora of emojis you can use that can say so much. Yeah. Just throw a little something in there. I man. feel like this is how girls talk to guys. Like your texts are so dry. Like, yeah. what do you mean? I'm over here, I'm like, yes. <laughs> what? Why? They only have those conversations when they're talking to men who don't like them. Mm, <laughs> so true. that's why it feels that way. Yeah. I uh, apologize. I am a shitty texter. I appreciate that. It's also, <laughs> you know, like, and the thing about it is me and Rick are very good texters. You guys are. And we text, here's the thing, me and Rick text like pretty much all day, every day. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's because of my mother, but we'll go back to that. Oh, really? <laughs> She's one of those. Uh, um, well, I put eight emojis and you uh, only put three. Uh, <laughs> <type of shit. laughs> God damn, man. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time you told me, fuck it, one time, because, you know, we have very, um, our sense of humor is dry. You yeah. know what I mean? So if it's not in person, it doesn't always translate. So we LOL after every fucking damn near everything. Mm. It'd be like, this is a very loose, <laughs> this is a very fun environment. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And Rick told me one time he was texting this girl. She was like, you say LOL so much. Why do you say LOL after everything? And he said one of his dry ass jokes. Like, yeah. just said it straight up. She was like, damn, are you mad? He was like, see? Uh, <laughs> that, this is why. <laughs> <laughs> Point made. She got it after that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah man. I try to be very, uh, you know, if I'm not... Stretching out my words or using exclamation points, I just I try to, I try to be clear because I know that you know context can be taken the wrong way. Mm. Yeah. Context, whoa, context. The way you text is a con. Whoa, I need to be better. <laughs> I really do, because I be saying how I feel and I put exclamation marks and not the LOLs, and I'm like, <laughs> this is not supposed to be funny. I am not <laughs> laughing right now. Anger. If somebody, you do something to somebody and they consider it something bad, wrong, mm. they're texting you, but they send you the angry emoji. Mm. Do you feel bad or do you feel like it's a, ha my bad type of situation? I think it definitely takes away from the severity. <laughs> the actual anger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be that mad. It's a little, little upset face. It's like a little, <laughs> <laughs> like angry, little explosion yeah. in the head. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Or uh, like fucking, fucking, my mom died. <laughs> the yellow <laughs> you probably laugh my ass off. Dang. Dang. <laughs> LOL. Lots of love. <laughs> lots of love. Lots, LOL. Lots of love, dude. <laughs> oh, I'm, I don't even know how to be understanding somebody's emoji sometimes. I get ups. Like, if you send me a thumbs up, we're fighting. Like, automatic. Because that uh, is the most, pa this, passive aggressive. I get right. that. I get that. Uh, it depends. Um, I think I, I would never send a thumbs up to a, a, a girl I was, like, courting. I feel. Right. <laughs> My ex I, used to do that all the time to piss me off. He knew exactly what he was doing. He's like, oh, she don't like this shit? <laughs> Fuck you. You know what I, see, here's what I, and here's what I don't like. Uh, I like that iMessage has the um, option to, to, like, punctuate the shit. They're so them. dry. They're so dry. Because mm -hmm. it's it's either the ha-ha or the heart or the thumb. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I never want to use the thumb because I feel yeah. like it's that. Yeah. I feel like it's, mm, mm -hmm. right? But also sometimes it's not a ha-ha. Um, so what's that face? Yeah. yeah, so. Uh, it's like you got to either love I'm a like yeah. or, or send a fucking emoji yeah. and then now they're yeah. left with what do I do with yeah. this? Do but I heart it? <laughs> if you getting thumbs, you probably did something. <laughs> I, I know. Or your your dry ass text called that cuz <laughs> I've never just sent a thumb <laughs> for no reason. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if if I'm sending a thumb that means yeah, all right, fuck. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right, right, right. Cool. Yeah. Right, but to what you were saying when they put the, you know, 
the emphasis on the text. Yeah. Uh, the person who's watch, who house sits my spot right now, they don't respond back. They just they just thumb it. I'm like, uh, okay, yeah. Did, mm. will you be there on time? Am I asking you too many questions now? Yeah. I'm overthinking. Can you put a heart <laughs> next to the ones that we know is okay? Can That's we so differentiate funny. these, please? Now that I do when I'm talking to a woman that I feel might think I want to flirt with her uh, and business. I do not want to. Very professional. Yeah, and I don't want to make it seem like anything. Yeah. I'll do that type that. of shit. I approve that. So I should stop sending winky emojis <laughs> to my sister. <laughs> little, a little heart? Faces. A little kissy heart faces? Oh my uh, God. No, no, no. That's, that's the Thanks. conceited uh, meme yeah. face. Wait. <laughs> the eggplant means stay healthy, right? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you ain't got HR. Yeah. Oh. I'm about to catch a suitcase. Because yeah, I told her, like, be healthy, stay hydrated, you right. know, water drops. Oh my God. <laughs> Eat your fruit, grab like some peaches and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Eat your fruit. Uh, I hope your cat, pet cat is, is good. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the camera emoji mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we, oh God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're like, well, let's unsend that. And then I hate that you can see what's unsent sometimes. Yeah. If you catch mm-hmm. it right on time, you can, oh, what you unsend? Yeah. So what do you guys think about the unsend? You'll be in a conversation with someone and then you can't see what they said, but it just says so and so unsent message. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't deal with that either. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, what, what be going on in your life, man? I got a lot of, I got a lot of different types of people that I speak to. Uh, nah, I maybe from him. Okay. And I know that means like it was either a typo or he figured out whatever he was asking or something like that. Like, I don't do too much. I'll tell you how anal I am about this shit, man. Um, I, uh, so me and Rick are the type of people, we have like multiple conversations, one, or we send like multiple videos to each other, but we also always make sure to um, give each video its 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 own response. You yeah. know what I mean? So sometimes, so one time, a couple times actually, Rick has sent me something and I will laugh at that and then I will send another message, which was supposed mm, to be in reply to a prior video. Yeah, like, and it goes to that. Mm, yeah. It's under the wrong video. Yeah. Yeah. Unsend. I'll unsend okay. that. But, go that's, back up. but that's on Instagram. It don't <laughs> oh, tell you. not on. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. mm-hmm. okay. But on the text messages, mm-hmm. it says it. And that I get how that will be like. Annoying. What the fuck? What the, would you say? Yeah, because yeah. yeah. it couldn't. It could be merely, you know, the cam- conversation isn't even that serious, but it still makes you go, hmm, what you say? What you yeah, saying? yeah, 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 no, I got you. Now I want to know. I talk to different groups of people, so I can see how you guys are always talking to each other. You understand each other's, like, texting styles. Mm-hmm. You get it. But then when you start to talk to people who are not in the bubble, mm-hmm. and you're like, Ooh. Yeah. Nah, we talk to other people. I feel like you guys really don't. <laughs> nah, I, I absolutely <laughs> oh, do. Oh, you do, that's true. Yeah. You talk to. Now, I will tell you this. While on Instagram— like, because I don't have my notifications on. But if I'm there, I can see what's coming in. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I'll see a girl send a DM. And then when I go to check it, it's gone. Oh. Am I? Oh. Yeah. What you have set up in there that you don't want me to see now? <laughs> How you was feeling when you right? sent that message? Did you go out of your way to be like, what'd you say? No. Nah, <laughs> I, I do. Leave it alone. What'd you if, say? If they don't say anything in replace of it, mm. then I might ask. Oh, okay. Or I might say, I seen you once in that. What did it say? Mm. <laughs> you know yeah. And I, sometimes they tell me, sometimes they don't. But most of the time it's like, they say something, they unsend it, then they send something else. So I just rock with whatever you felt like you want me to see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it was a typo. Yeah, mm. that's what I'm saying. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't trip on it. Yeah. Mm. Well, maybe it was uh they had got kidnapped and then they sent that, <laughs> and the kidnapper was like, <laughs> so, better unsend that shit. Yeah. Also, that hell, that makes sense because we'll be talking about like food or something, and then she'll just be like, "I'm perfectly safe, by the way." <laughs> like, okay, cool. Uh, like, oh, all right, no need to come over again. It's okay forever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm perfectly safe, and I no longer want anything to do with you. Uh, <laughs> don't contact me again, and don't call the police <laughs> if you don't see me posting. Yeah. If you call the police, we're over. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, nah, you know, text, texting, texting is rough. Text etiquette, Nikki Blades, you know, st- step it up. Um, and uh, you what know. Facetime is for now? Just Facetime me. Well, let me ask you this, Nikki Blades. Yes, sir. Do you like an out the blue Facetime call? Only certain people get that. Okay. You guys can Facetime call whenever. If we are just talking and you want to test, because I feel like that's a test. <laughs> 
If you don't <laughs> text somebody, be like, hey, yeah. I'm call you. Even if it's on the phone, I'm like, what are you trying to, what are you trying to find out? But if I like the person, I'll pick it up. Yeah. Even though I'm kind of like, hey, you should probably send a text before just because I don't, you know, yeah. you don't know. But yeah. Fuck it, be fuck it. Nah. <laughs> but I just, you know, the unsolicited FaceTime always feels like it is, it's a test. Yeah. I think if if someone knows me in real life, they know that I hate an unsolicited FaceTime call. So if they're doing that, I feel like, oh, this is serious. Okay. Let me pick up, right? Because Briggs not going to FaceTime me unless it's some fucking business shit that he mm. needs answers for immediately or the shit's too long to to, to voice note. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've, I FaceTime people for the pettiest shit. <laughs> it's like... I need to ask you a question, uh-huh. and I need to know that you are not Googling the answer uh-huh. to it. <laughs> so let me look at you when I ask you this. Yo, have you ever experienced the agony of harsh smoke, throat burning, or coughing attacks when smoking cannabis? The struggle is real for a lot of people, but the solution is chili. That's right, I'm talking about the smoothest way to light up, and that's with Freeze Pipe, okay? Freeze Pipe makes a unique line of freezable pipes, bubblers, and bongs that are 80% colder than using ice cubes to chill smoke. The magic is freezable glycerin chambers that come on every piece. Simply pop the chamber in the freezer for one hour and as smoke passes through, it's instantly chilled by over 300 degrees so every puff arrives ice cold and cough free. I mean, look at these things. They are great, stylish, smooth, sexy. Who likes the agony of harsh smoke? I sure don't. American owned and with over 100,000 happy customers, Freeze Pipe uses the thickest glass and market leading glycerin chambers for a smoother experience. You have to feel to believe, all right? So ditch the harsh smoke forever by visiting thefreezepipe.com and use code CHASER for 10% off your order. That's thefreezepipe.com and use code CHASER for 10% off. Shop today for free shipping and smoke like royalty without paying a king's ransom. Question. Do y'all, don't answer out loud if you know the answer. Okay. Do y'all know where Rome is? Yes. You do? Okay. Do you? Now I'm doubting it, but why? Go on. Because I did not, and I didn't know that I did not Mm -hmm. until I found out where it was. I was like, oh, shit, is there? And then somebody shamed me for it as Mm. if I was just supposed to know. Mm. Like, what the fuck I need to know about Rome for? But you know where Rome is. Greece. No. Italy. Yes. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. See, you thought thought Greece. I thought Athens for some reason. I thought Greece as well. Okay. (laughs) But no, it's in Italy. Rome isn't in Greece? It's in Italy. Because you think Roman Empire, Greek, and that makes you think of Greek and all that shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, but no, apparently it's in fucking Italy. I was in between. I was like, if it's not Greece, it's Italy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was, I didn't know that until someone said it. And I was like, you no, know, somebody was like, I'm going to Rome. And then they was like, oh, yeah, something Italy. Something mm. like and I realized a lot of people always say, like, they're going to Rome. And they're going to Italy. I'm like, are they really close to each other? (laughs) But I had no idea. And and not like I feel like nobody should know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I was shamed. (laughs) Like, damn, I didn't know that. (laughs) But somebody made me feel like it's just something everybody knows. Nah, I mean, I wouldn't say all that. Um, yeah. I, I definitely understand the miss the because I I thought I knew, but I really didn't. I I did it kind of, but didn't. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Do y'all know where Mount Everest is? Nah. No. Uh, wait, don't tell me. Delaware. <laughs> no. I, you're thinking of Mount Rushmore. <laughs> oh. And that is not where I thought it was either. It's in... Uh, Colorado. One of the Dakotas. Oh. <laughs> I do believe. No. Fuck, I forget. Okay. Mount Elsinore. But Mount Everest is in Nepal. <laughs> What? What? <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, wait, Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world. Yeah. This, the, it, wait. You know what? You know what's, uh, it's like how you ask it. Now I feel like I don't I, know. I just I just, asked, I just, y'all I know, know where it is. I, but for some reason, I feel like I don't know when you're asking me like it's a trick question, okay. even though it's not. Okay, no. But it feels like it. I, okay, I feel like if I would have <laughs> sat on that and stewed in it, I would have been like, Yes, the tallest mountain in the world. I know it's in the fucking Nepalese, Tibetan <laughs> shit area, right? But Everest had me thinking, this is America. America. Yeah, because it's it's an American ass name or whatever. Oh, right? oh yeah. wow. You yeah, I just I just wondered. Oh. No, because I, I also didn't know that. Like I didn't know that either. <laughs> you got more questions for us? <laughs> yeah. But after the Rome shit happened, yeah. Yeah. the girl who shamed me, yeah. 
I found out the Everest shit, and I was like, I bet she don't fucking know that. Like, tip for Acting time like right I'm here. supposed to just know yeah. where Rome is, because she was like, eh, eh, Rome is so talked about. Like, anybody else? Wow. Nah, so I was like, all right, not, Mount Everest is really talked about. Yeah. yeah. FaceTime me real quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, I don't need to see your face, yeah. but let me see your hands. Yeah. <laughs> so, Paul had to see her hands like this. Oh I was like, God. where is Mount Everest? And don't you move him hands. <laughs> but wait, Nepal isn't in Delaware? <laughs> So, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I feel like it's a lot of shit like that. I mean, especially <laughs> when you get put on the spot, you know what I'm saying? That you you kind of know, and then but then when it comes right down to it, especially with Rome, it's like it, it feels like it's its own entity. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like I thought it was a country. In Europe, right, mm. right, right. Well, that's why are you smarter than a fifth grader exists? Yeah. Because it seems like. Questions we should all know the answers to, and it's like, oh, I don't. It just it gets pushed out. You have to learn so much, so much over time. Oh my god, shit back then that you have no use for gets pushed out. What like basic math? <laughs> like, look, if I want to go to Rome, the Google plane, it. The plane gonna get me there. Right. I, I don't need to know the directions to Rome. <laughs> You really got me thinking about that shit, man. Like, but what things you don't know? Nah, about Roman Italy. <laughs> oh my god, you're still stuck on that. The yeah. funny part is, you know how they say Roma in Italy. Mm. I thought that was completely different <laughs> than Rome. Oh, but it's just saying it in what I oh. guess Italian. I guess I don't know. But oh, I was like, god damn, I don't know shit. What? <laughs> huh? Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll tell you all this, this is something I learned when I was in Europe. Did y'all know that schnitzel? <laughs> schnitzel is not a fucking uh sausage. Yeah. Isn't it pretzels? What are No, sh- schnitzel is like it's like a uh, bread fried like coating yeah. flat piece of fucking chicken and shit. Oh, it's chicken. Yeah. What the hell? It's like chicken or pork. Then what the or- hell is Wiener Schnitzel? It's it was just, just a putting words thing. together. Yeah. What? To oh. make it sound German and shit. Hagen Doss. Not yeah. real. Yeah, that's from America. Just a made-up thing. Oh, it's not even. Doesn't even mean anything. Nope. Lulu, Lulu lemon. What was that supposed to mean? Don't mean shit. It's racist. Go look it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. yeah. Well, wow. Well, <laughs> it's such a funny uh, name to pick to be racist with. Right. <laughs> like, there's so many other so L many. <laughs> words you could use. <laughs> oh yes, that. Yeah, yes, that. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Forgot about that. Mm-hmm. We forget about it because the leggings are so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they make guy stuff too. They do. <laughs> but I stopped buying that. No, I don't care. Um, I go to Amazon. Amazon got everything. <laughs> don't be racist, Amazon, please. Because <laughs> I like buying Am- Amazon calls it Ruby Ruby Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> it's spelled out phonetically like that. Yeah. Well, but hey, speaking of which, spe- speaking of, of both of those coming together, my mom was like, oh, my no. mom was like, can you get me this thing? And I was like, yeah, where? She was like, Amazon. This Amazon. <laughs> Amazon. I was like, what's that? <laughs> it's Amazon. It's a store. Amazon. I was like, what is what is that, mom? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that's eee. awesome. All right, y'all. Hey, <laughs> thank you for watching another episode of No Chaser Podcast. Uh, uh, be, be nice. Be nice to your parents and yes. each other. Uh, take care of yourself and each other. Rest in peace, Jerry Springer. Uh, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all that bullshit. I'm Tim Chantharonksu. I'm Ricky Shucks. I'm Nikki. Bye. <laughs>